Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 10th graders 2011, problem number 1. Let A, B and C be positive numbers. We wish to show that the following equation, A to the power of X plus B to the power of X equals C to the power of X, has at most, at most one real solution X. Here are my hints for this problem. Basically, my idea is to reduce our problem to a simpler problem, First of all, let a over c be equal e to the power of alpha, b over c be equal e to the power of beta, for some real numbers alpha and beta. Then our equation can be rewritten in the following way. It is the same as saying that e to the power alpha x plus e to the power beta x equals 1. First, consider alpha to be equal to 0, and for alpha which is not equal to 0, make the following substitution. y equals e to the power alpha x. Notice that this function is injective, and we can transform our equation to the following, y plus y to the power beta over alpha equals 1. Well, beta over alpha, it's, it's just some constant, a real constant r. And you should show that this equation, which is much, much simpler, y plus y to the power of r equals 1, this equation has at most one real solution y greater than 0. Now, to show that, notice that if r is greater than or equal to 0, because r depends only on a, b, and c, if this is the case, then this function is strictly increasing. Thus, this equation can only have one solution. And for r less than 0, the situation is a bit trickier, you should show the following stronger fact, that for every real positive real number y, and for every r which is less than 0, y plus y to the power of r is greater than 1. And to show that, consider this function, but not as a function of y, but as a function of r. f of r equals y plus y to the power of r. Differentiate it and see what happens. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so, uh, so, let's take our equation and maybe let's write a to the power of x plus b to the power of x equals c to the power of x. It can be written as a over c to the power of x plus b over c to the power of x equals 1. And now let's make the following substitution. Instead of a over c, let pu let's put uh, that a over c equals e to the power of alpha. And likewise, b over c, let be e to the power of beta for some alpha, beta, real numbers. Then we have the following equation, e to the power of alpha x plus e to the power beta x equals 1. Right, now let's consider two cases. Case number 1, case number 1, when alpha is 0. Notice that then, then, what should be true? Uh, e to the power of 0, so 1, plus e to the power beta x equals 1. This, of course, has no solutions. No solution. All right. Case number 2, much more interesting. Case number 2, when alpha is not 0. When alpha is not 0. Then, let's make the following substitution, then let's, let's put y to be e to the power alpha x and then, notice that e to the power beta x can be written as e to the power alpha x to the power b over alpha, so it's y to the power beta over alpha and it can be written as y to the power of r, where r is defined to be beta over alpha, it's just a real number. All right, and also let's, let's make it clear that this function which maps x to the power x to y, this function is, is injective, maybe let's write it, Ma a function which maps x to e to the power alpha x is injective, 
it's injective and it has a word range where the range of this function is the set of positive numbers. Its range is uh, zero infinity set of positive numbers. All right, so notice that we have established uh, the following result. Uh, we have established, maybe we have to write it, we have established that uh, a to the power of x plus b to the power of x equals c to the power of x has at most one real solution. It has at most one real solution. It happens if and only if uh, y plus y to the power of r equals 1 has at most one real solution. At most one real solution. And let's prove the fact written right here that it is, in fact, it has at most one real solution. I will consider now two cases. Case number one, it depends on R. Case number one, when R is greater than or equal zero. Notice that then the function which stands on the left hand side, namely function which takes positive number y and returns y plus y to the power of r, this function is strictly, strictly increasing. It is strictly increasing. Why is that? Well, notice that y itself is strictly increasing. And since r is non-negative, this function is weakly increasing. If we add a strictly increasing function and weakly increasing one, we get a strictly increasing function. Which means, of course, this implies that y plus y to the power of r equals 1 has indeed at most one, sol one solution. All right. So this, this case is has been proven. Case number two is when r is less than zero, and I will show that in this case our equation has no solutions. We will show we will show that y plus y to the power of r equals one has no real solutions. by showing by showing that for every negative r and for every positive y y plus y to the power of r is strictly greater than 1 strictly greater than 1 i will show this so it is my claim maybe let's show it's my claim claim, proof of my claim. Now I will consider once again two cases. Case number one of my claim. Case number one, well, when, when y is greater than or equal one, then of course, then y plus y to the power of r is greater than, uh, is greater than or equal one it's greater than, to be honest, it's greater than 1. Why is that? Because this is greater than or equal 1, and this is greater than 0. If I add a number which is greater than or equal 1 to a number which is positive, I must get a number which is greater than 1. Case number 2 is more interesting. When y is less than 1, what then? then consider consider the following function f of r equals y plus y to the power of r 
it is function, its argument is R, not Y, but R. Why is that? Because it's easier to differentiate it right now. F prime of R, what is it? Derivative of Y is zero. And here we have an exponential function. So we have y to the power of r times natural log of y. And notice that since y is less than 0, this part right here is negative. And of course, y to the power of r is positive. So our function is increasing. We have established that. f is strictly decreasing. It is strictly decreasing, which, which means <coughs> that uh, the least value is attained at zero. So let's investigate this least value. Uh, f of zero. What is f of zero? Well, f of zero is... Mm. It is... Uh, 0 plus, no, it's 1 plus y plus y to the power of 0, which is 1 plus y. And since y is positive number, this is greater than 1, which means that f of r is always greater than 0, than 1. Or any r less than 0. And this closes our proof because in this case our fun our equation has no solutions uh, and in first case in uh, previously where r was greater than or equal zero we have established that our equation has at most one solution so every case has been considered and that closes our entire proof And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.